everyone, it's Laura. Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm coming to you from Zone 6, Connecticut. And we would love to have you subscribe if you're new. Uh, today I thought we'd just have a little walk around the garden, see what's up. I have like a lot of projects that are kind of on hold right now. It's been raining for a couple days and it's supposed to rain again. You can see it's kind of overcast right now. And then it's going to be hot, but then next week is supposed to be nice. So I think next week I'm going to get done a bunch of projects that I have on my list. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And actually, let's just talk about one that is coming up for sure. And that is the cauldron planter. I'm really excited to get this switched out. I um, mentioned in a previous video that I did pick up the really huge ginormous cauldron from at home this year. It's really big. I already have it. I've been holding on to it for a while. And I'm going to redo this whole area because you can't really see like the logs that are obviously this creeping Jenny is taking over. So I need to do some major thinning out. The verbena is looking kind of spent. I have an idea for switching that out with a different plant. So hopefully next week we will get that done. And then I do have another project that's coming up. Let me just show you what that is. So basically, I noticed that this year, this side of the garden seems to be getting more shade than I remember it getting in the past. I always thought it was full sun. So it's got me thinking like, what, what, why did that happen? <laughs> why is that happening, first of all? And secondly, I need to kind of address it because I've got a lot of full sun things over here. So what, one of the things that was in here was the herb spiral was right there and I decided to move it because I have been wanting to do a project like this for the longest time. <laughs> um, you guys have probably seen it on Pinterest. It's one of these wire spool things. We're going to turn it into a mushroom table. It's going to be amazing. I've wanted to do this for so long and I think this is the perfect spot for it. By the way, I think I also figured out maybe one of the reasons why this area is getting more shade and I think it's because of the greenhouse. Um, I didn't have that in the past. This is the first year that I've had the greenhouse. So I'm thinking that it's just casting a little bit more of a shadow. I don't know, maybe. Hopefully it's not the giant maple tree leaning more. Anyway, onto the table itself. <laughs> so we're gonna paint the top red with, you know, white spots, mushroom spots. And then I have these two logs that I was using for a bench seat um, over there. But I wasn't really using it very much because that area is full sun and I just don't like sitting in the sun so I think this is gonna be so much better you can see right now it's already like shady I this is gonna be like the perfect spot for it I think it's gonna be so adorable so I had my husband cut me some little um, discs like plywood discs to go on top of these logs just to make them a little bit more stable and a little bit wider and that got me to thinking like okay do I want to make them with like batting, stuffing, and then cover them with fabric and then paint the fabric? All that's going to add up. And you know, I don't want to spend money. <laughs> so I said to myself, let me just check online and see if there are any like already made cushions that are just super cheap. Well, I found a steal of a deal on Walmart. They had two red round cushions for $11 y'all on clearance so I ordered those they're on the way so that's the plan for that I asked my husband to pick up the paint 
and he came back with um <laughs> like the little tiny craft size ones you know that are like 50 cents and I think he was not sure about this scale <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there but we're gonna get some more paint <laughs> And then we'll get this project done. It shouldn't take long at all. And actually, it has a hole in the top. So that leaves um, possibilities for like adding an umbrella maybe in the future. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. I'm going to make a separate video just about this project. So stay tuned for that. And the herb spiral is being moved over here. We had like a fire pit over here that we just never used ever. So, it's going to go here. I need to fill it with dirt still. This rock that is weird, <laughs> uh, it's from when the girls were little. It used to be like a Loch Ness Monster type thing. It had like that rock and then we had tires after it. Anyway, so we just keep that one around. Nostalgia factor. I have another project that will be coming up. Probably within the next couple weeks or so, still need to budget for the for one more thing. Um, but I'm gonna I've been wanting to replace this screen door for like ever, and I have a really fun idea to replace the screen door and to kind of freshen up the bottom portion there. And then, lastly, I've been thinking about making some videos um, in the fall kind of inside. I have some projects in mind for um, Halloween, <laughs> obviously. For example, I was thinking about maybe going through like some of my Halloween decor and seeing if you guys would be interested in, in looking at, at any of them. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe do a decorate with me or something of the mantle. I'm doing, I'm trying to do a Sleepy Hollow mantle situation this year. I have ideas for all of it. Part of it is it going to be a DIY. So I was kind of thinking about making a video about that and maybe some other stuff. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Is that something you'd be interested in at all? <laughs> Let me know. This corn that I've talked about a few times actually is producing some corn. I have, um, let's see, one, two, three, three ears that I can see, four. Now, usually they get snatched by a raccoon. <laughs> just when they're about ready to pick so i'll have to be careful about that but look how pretty these stalks are this is purple diamond corn i really grew it mostly just for decoration purple corn purple jewel maybe it's called the stalks are purple the kernels are supposed to be purple so that's exciting I did just make a video all about the pumpkins. I know not a lot of people watch that video. It's kind of boring. Sorry. <laughs> but um, just to give you a quick update. They're not doing great, guys. Like, it looks like they're fine. But they have been, and I'm sorry for the terminology, but aborting all the females. Like, every time a female happens, she dies before she even blooms. For example, here's one. So it's pretty discouraging. I've been treating all sorts of problems with them. It's getting to the point where I'm like, maybe, maybe next year I just need to take a break and let the bugs have a year off from, you know, reproducing and just going crazy in the garden. I don't know. Pumpkins are hard, you guys. I still only have um, like one here and one in the pumpkin patch so that it's 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 discouraging but we'll, we'll continue to see what happens have a little bit of a problem with the spooky tree the pumpkin tree um i think i might have mentioned that there's some bees going in you can kind of see 
the, there's like a hole at the base that they're going in. And then today, I noticed that they're actually going inside the tree also. I don't know if you just saw that, but that white hole there, they've been going in and out of there as well. So that's kind of scary. Um, <laughs> I, I did just get stung by a bee when I was doing the boxwoods a couple weeks ago. So now I'm in like scared mode, but um, just gonna leave them be. And at the end of the season, I think I might not have this spooky tree anymore. <laughs> uh, it's, there's been a few issues with it. So I think, I think I might have a different idea for next year. I had mentioned that I was considering taking this fence down because it's not really serving much of a purpose. Uh, I'm just going to leave it up because... I do think it discourages the deer a little bit. The, I saw one the other day <laughs> um, that ran just right in, right through the yard here while me and Boomer were in the backyard. He didn't even notice it. It was crazy. But I think, you know, they really don't like obstacles. So if I take it down, they're just probably going to munch all around the edges. I, I will let it kind of go crazy at this point. If it wants to go through the fence, that's fine. The deer can munch on on those pieces i'm kind of at my wits end with the pumpkin patch <laughs> so i'm just uh i'm just kind of letting it do its thing now just wanted to give you a quick look at the panicle hydrangeas because they are looking beautiful especially this one down at the end which i am more and more convinced is the vanilla strawberry. So pretty. But that's really about all that's going on. It's like the dead of summer right now. So it's hot. It's rainy. There's not a whole lot going on. Projects coming up. Things are getting exciting. I thank you guys for joining me for this quick little update. Hopefully I will have that table video done within the next, definitely within the next week, but maybe within the next couple days. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.